Hey guys, welcome to Tech Learnings. Today we are continuing with the puzzle series. I hope you have uh, already seen the first video in which I explained the 2x puzzle and heaven or hell puzzle. Uh, so now most of the puzzles in interviews are as on pen and paper. So I thought of explaining this puzzle uh, on pen and paper. Uh, even I was recently asked this puzzle in an interview. So now coming to the puzzle, uh, you have to find out the first non-repeating character from a string. I again repeat, you have to find out the first non-repeating character from a string. Now what we mean by this, suppose your string is containing let's say A, A, B, B, C, D, E, suppose. So, first non-repeating character in this case, since A is repeating, B is repeating, it will be C. Okay. Uh, let's take one more example. Suppose you have a name Rahul. So, in this case, the first non-repeating character is R. Let's say it's, suppose name is Rahul Roy. So, in this case, the first non-repeating character would be A. Okay. So, the problem is that... Uh, you have to find out the first non-repeating character okay so the uh, puzzle can be solved in a number of ways let's try to understand them one by one one way is that you can use a map now you know map is going to contain your key and value so what you store in the key you traverse your string from left to right okay then in key store the character okay and in value store the count now how uh, suppose your first character is a you check whether uh, that character is present in the map or not if it is not present then put it in the map with count one let's say since this is occurring for the first time now see now move to the next character okay see if that present in the map or not if it is present then increase the count by one again moving forward uh, b it is not present in the map so we put it count is one again b so b is already present in the map so we increase its count c it is not present so it has count one similarly d has count one e also has count one so at the end when you uh, traverse your st string what you are going to get in the map your keys are the characters that are there in the string and count is going to and your value is going to contain the count or the number of times that character has occurred in that particular string okay so uh, now our solution is c now how to get to this character so what you do you scan your string once more and get that character from the map and see what is the count of that character so a its count is 2 so we continue again a its count is 2 we continue b its count is 2 so we continue further b again its count is 2 we continue further c its count is 1 so as soon as we get the count one this is the character which we were looking for so c is the first known repeating character right so this is one way in which you can solve uh, this puzzle uh, second way is that instead of uh, let's say uh, you're using a map right suppose you are using hash map implementation now it also depends on which implementation of map you are using because hash map is not going to uh, maintain the order right if we have maintained the order then we always uh, will know that you traverse the map and then the first uh, uh, key for which the value is one is our answer right so what you can do you can use a linked hash map in this case right so instead of using hash map what you do you use a linked hash map so that you also maintain the order of your keys right so in suppose these 
are now stored in a linked hash map so you traverse the hash map instead of traversing the string right so instead of traversing the string you just traverse your hash map and as soon as you get the key for which value is one that is your desired character all right so this is uh, another way in which you can solve this uh, puzzle now there is one more way in which you can do this what you can do you can use two more data structures one is a set and another one is list okay so what set is going to contain it is going to contain your repeating characters and what list is going to contain it is going to contain your non repeating characters all right how so you traverse your uh, string okay so is uh, first character is a first you check whether a is present in the list or not a is not present so add it to the list so we are assuming here that a is a non repeating character add it to the list move to the next character again it's a so is a present in the list yes it is present so now we know a is a repeating character so and we remove the character from the list and then add it to the set all right now move to the next character b it is not present in the list so we add it here b it is present so we remove it from the list and we add it to the set c it is not present in the list so we add it d it is not present so we add it e it is not present so we add it to the list all right so at the end what you are going to get in the list is the all the non repeating characters and in the set you are going to get the repeating characters so if someone asks you that you have to segregate uh, the repeating and non repeating characters from a string so you can use this approach at that time right so our uh, problem in in this case was to find out the non repeating character so if you see the character which is present at the zeroth index of your list is the character which you were looking for right so this is the character so in the list at the first index you are going to get that character so this is our first non repeating character all right so this is how you can uh, resolve this puzzle and i hope you have understood it this is an uh, attempt from my end to uh explain it in a pen and paper only like i said it's an an interview uh it, they you have only pen and paper to explain your answer right so i hope you understood uh, the solution let me know if you have any doubt or you have any better approach uh, to solve this uh i hope you like the video yeah if you like it please uh, hit the like button and uh, please subscribe to the channel for uh, more videos okay more exciting stuff we have puzzle series we have framework series then we have uh, java essentials series so a lot of stuff um, is uh, coming up for you guys so thank you so much for watching have a good day bye